All right, I'm redoing my uh, bust of the Indian girl. I'm going to go right. I didn't tear her apart. I just took her off the base she was on. And uh, I'm uh, changing the base to this one. It'll be a uh, round base and it'll be reflective more of the new size of the uh, bust that I'm doing. I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. Okay, first thing I gotta do is take these uh, pieces of copper wire out. I'll come back when I get done doing this. Okay, you gotta clean off the top. I don't remember what I did. Oh, I think I, this was the uh, flag carrier, I think I did on this. The uh, war trophy, the original war trophy that I did. And I ended up changing it. I want to bring her up to about right there so I'm going to have to put a something to support her in between I gotta think about that could use two of these in fact I will alright I've got uh, my sticks my supports for the clay in two wooden dowels and now I just need to center her on them the best I can there we go that'll hold her up I think I'll push her forward just a little bit Okay, just because I started a certain format doesn't mean I have to stick to it. I can always change it. I'm just going to tape these two wooden dowels together so she is well placed in there. That's not going to go anywhere. And now I'm just going to add clay. I'll show you what I'm thinking of doing. I um, thought of having this young Native American girl uh, playing with her one of her braids and I saw this young lady at uh, the dollar store here locally and I asked her if I paid her ten bucks would she pose for me for just a couple minutes and she kindly said yes so I took some quick pictures of her hands from every angle so that I could reproduce her hands three-dimensionally now it's not going to happen today but this is what I'm thinking of doing and so it's going to change the direction of that head and a lot of other things but for now I'll just put those pictures aside 
and uh, come back to them later. I t smashed the tip of her nose and her mouth completely, so I got to reform those. I don't know if the wind from that fan is affecting the sound on my camera. Hopefully it's not. Ugh. I got this stupid song playing over and over again in my, my head. When whippoorwills call, do 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 my blue heaven. That's Domino made that famous in the sixties or fifties. Bean Crosby sang it back in the forties and thirties. Yeah, I'm old. Probably people you, a lot of you people don't even know about. <laughs> Look them up on uh, YouTube, both of them, and that tune, and uh. You'll know what I'm talking about. I can't play it because it's copyrighted. <sighs> Boy, it's nice to be back in my studio. It's I got everything controlled in here. It is hot though. That old building was, uh, let's see, how old is that building? That building I was sculpting in was 155 years old and was a lot cooler. It was like we had air conditioning in that place, no matter how hot it got outside. I miss that. <laughs> That's the only thing I miss. Other than the people. I mean, it was nice having people come around. But it's much nicer to be where I can control my light and uh, I got a adjustable t sculpting stand, which I didn't have there. I'm going to turn off my heat lamp because uh, I don't need it. <laughs> it's, it's so darn hot. It's uh, something I really don't need. Anyway, I just thought I'd bring her head forward a little bit more. I just put a couple of uh, pieces of clay on the edge there. So I was going to put wire frame for the shoulders, but I really don't need to. This shoulder is going to be raised a little higher than this shoulder because of the direction of her head and also the, uh, the uh, angle of the arms. I'm thinking about well, I'm not going to do that until I get ready to. 
All right, see you guys next next week. And uh, oh my gosh, it's hot. <laughs> it puts me in mind of a movie I saw when I was a kid. That's the way I feel right now. All right. Have a great weekend, everybody, and I'll see you next week. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.